Hey everybody, Phil Tenalia here, and today is March the 24th, 2021, and on March the 26th, uh, it has been declared National Social Emotional Learning Day, for those of you that aren't aware of that, and you know, it's a day where we can, uh, well, celebrate social emotional learning and promote it, schools, organizations, everywhere. So, what I thought I wanted to do is I'm going to throw out a challenge here to you and uh, let's see how it goes. So the challenge that I want to offer you today is that I would like you to find someone near you, preferably a young person, could be somebody that you work with, could be somebody in a, in a school, could be somebody who's in your home. Uh, and if you can't find a young person, get the nearest available person uh, around and have a conversation with them. And the way I'm gonna suggest that we do this conversation is we're going to basically use uh, the ACT matrix. So those of you that know about this, you know what, what this is. Those of you that don't, it's really just two cross lines and you can draw it on a piece of paper. I have mine on a whiteboard here. And you would begin by just saying something like, hey, is it okay? I have a point of view I wanna show you. Is it okay if I show you? You're going to get a yes, I'll tell you right now. So then you can sit down and you can say, well, you know, the first question I, I want to ask is who's important to you? Now, the key to any kind of social emotional learning is that you're going to be doing this together with someone. So I always go first. So I might say, hey, my wife is important to me. And I would write that down just so that they would know that that's where we put the important people. And then you ask them the question, they're going to tell you, you know, write that down. So you can have a nice little list of important people. Uh, it could be someone who's related to you. So you're both going to end up in the who's important, hopefully. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is slide over here to the yucky stuff side. Here's where we put yucky feeling stuff that people don't like. And the way I introduce that is I say, well, you know, sometimes yucky stuff might show up on the inside of you. And I always like to kind of prime it a little bit by using the word fear. And I'll write that in because, you know, we all get fear. We don't want it. Kind of want to move away from it. So uh, what kind of yucky stuff like fear could show up on the inside of you? And then you're going to have a conversation about that and jot down whatever they say. Worry could be something, anxiety, uh, anger, uh, you know, it could be a nice little list. So you're just having a conversation about yucky stuff. And then you're going to head up here, up into the upper left. And then I would say something like, well, you know, um, when that yucky stuff shows up, uh, you know, what do you do to kind of move away from that? You know, you get this kind of urge, like you don't, the fear shows up, ugh, don't like the fear. So the basic thing that anybody would do, you, me, or anybody else, is we would do something with our physical bodies on the outside. And the well, basic thing would be run. You know, fear shows up, you run. So uh, when you have that yucky stuff down here show up, what kind of things do you do up here to try to, you know, reduce it, get away from it, uh, lessen it? And then you can have a conversation about that. And then finally, you're going to be sliding over here to the upper right. And you're going to ask them this question. Well, hey, you know, what can you do to move closer to those important people down here? What kinds of things that you do or can do would bring you closer to those people? So, you know, for my wife, I would basically maybe write something like I would go up here and I would very simply just go and talk to my wife. And again, I'm modeling it, so I'm showing it. So you can have a conversation about that. So then before you know it, you're gonna have these four quadrants here all filled up. And then what I like to do is just go right into the middle and I just say, something like this. I draw a little circle in there and I say, hey, do you think that you might have an opportunity to notice who is important to you, you know, next week or so, something like that? And they're going to say, eh, probably. And how about that yucky stuff? You think you might have an opportunity to notice yucky stuff showing up inside of you? Pretty much. How about away moves and uh, tour moves? I think you might have an opportunity to notice them as well. Cool. So that's what we could do. We can really kind of notice this stuff. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, 
I also like to bring up this other matrix diagram. Uh, this is what we call the pro-social or the we matrix, because now I'm going to start off with a different question. Still going to start here in the lower right, but now my question is going to be, well, you know, what's our shared purpose? What, what, what are we here to do, you and I? Hey, you could be home. Your shared purpose could just be to have a meal together. Uh, you could be in a classroom. Shared purpose could be to teach, or you could be in, a, in an office uh, where you're having a meeting. Uh, and then you just kind of have that conversation about what brings you there. What's the shared purpose of you getting together or what might you like it to be? And then we're still going to slide over here to the lower left. And now I'm going to ask, well, you know, over here is where I put that special kind of yucky stuff that shows up when you're with other people. Uh, and it's going to be similar to what shows up when you're by yourself. But there's some things that show up when you're with other people that may or may not be the case when you're alone. So I would like to then go ahead and put fear, just like I said the first time around. And now I'm gonna ask them, well, you know, what kind of stuff shows up when you're with other people? Well, you're gonna get a list. You're gonna worry, jealousy, uh, maybe I don't feel good enough. Uh, things like that are gonna show up. And then you're just gonna jot those down. And now we're gonna head up here, up to the upper, left and we're going to say well you know when that the uh, special brand of social yucky stuff shows up we might see people go up and do things to try to reduce their yucky stuff so you're in a social situation fear could show up so very easy thing that a lot of people will do would be to just be quiet so they might just be quiet to try to reduce their fear or their discomfort which you know it's just something that people do it's not good it's not bad it's just something that people do and then you're going to have a conversation about some other things that people do to move away from their social yucky stuff that you could see them do. And then finally, you're going to come over here and you're going to say, well, you know, what do you think might help us move toward the shared purpose? What kind of things might we do up here? And the basic thing that I like to put up here is the simple thing of we are going to communicate. And certainly you're doing that kind of like we're doing that right now. We're communicating, right? And then we could add some other things that we could be doing that are going to help us move toward that shared purpose. Finally, when you're done, I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to put noticing in there again. And I'm going to ask the question of them, well, hey, do you think you might have an opportunity or we might have an opportunity to notice our shared purpose in the next week or so? How about the opportunity to notice some of that social yucky stuff that shows up on the inside. What do you think? How about away moves from that social yucky stuff? And how about toward moves, toward the shared purpose? So that would be it. That's a great way to have what I would call a social emotional kind of conversation with a young person or any person whatsoever. And it really is the idea here that, you know, you're not going to be talking about social emotional learning on social emotional learning day. You're going to be doing social emotional learning if you decide to do this. So that's my challenge to you. And what I would like you to do is to go ahead and try it out. And if you want, you can shoot me a comment. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you can put a comment down below if you want. And if you don't want, that's okay too. And before we get off, I'm going to leave you with, uh, just in case, those of you that might not have seen this before, I'm going to show you um, a little bit of what this might be looking like here. So this is the pro-social matrix. This is the one that um, we just did, which is the group matrix. And let me see if I can bring up the other matrix here. Somehow or another, that seems to not be showing up. All right, so let me go back. And now you might be able to see, hmm, for some reason that's not showing up right now. Huh, that's weird. Oh, here we go. All right, so I'm coming back. Bear with me. You just saw the pro-social matrix, still a little bit backwards, but that's okay. We're, it's okay to kind of do things a little bit differently. So now I'm going to share, and now here is the um, first matrix, which is the me matrix. So we're going to do that one with the individual, and then the other one 
you're going to do with the group. So go ahead, have some fun, and uh, happy, happy nation, National SEL Day. And everybody have a good one. Stay safe.